So, <clears throat> terrible weekend. Horrible weekend, I think, for the greater world because the Israel-Palestine conflict has been something the world has been praying to be resolved since the beginning of praying. <laughs> like, I think, I think the first prayer ever made was, Dear Lord, please help Israel and Palestine find peace. I think that was the first prayer ever written. They just tore that page out of the Bible, Torah, and Quran. On Saturday morning, Israel was attacked by the terrorist group Hamas. And if you, dis if you aren't comfortable with me referring to Hamas as a terrorist group, like I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> if you fuck with rapes and you fuck with mass murder and kidnapping children and tormenting children and probably going to kill the children... If you fuck with that shit, I can't fuck with you. And this is not an Israel-Palestine thing. This is a... Grandmother just got fucking shot in the face! And you'd like, oh no, but... Hey, bro! <laughs> Are we not seeing the same thing? <clears throat> and I understand... Um, where dudes are coming from as far as supporters and all of that. So I understand where you're coming from. But please, can I ask you a favor? And this is, for, again, for the betterment of the world. Can you stop trying to l line Islam with Hamas? Because those are two different things. And the more you support this terrorist organization the more the wider world is going to start painting Palestinians with the same brush as they do Hamas. Saturday morning, <clears throat> Israel was hit with their most deadly terrorist attack. It, it was the most deadly attack on Jews since the fucking Holocaust where initially they had a, a death toll of about 300, initially. Um, and this was like within hours this took place. Half past six in the morning on Saturday, basically from the Gaza Strip, <clears throat> um, Hamas stormed Israel, broke through fences and security. They managed to breach the fence in 20 different places, which is wild, guys, because if you're familiar with Israel's defense system, it's it could fucking catch like has anyone ever wondered why there's no uaps or ufos in israel <laughs> it's because they got shut down okay the minute someone is like hey what's that the fucking iron curtain or the iron wall shut the the, the uap down and then they sent it to america for examination <laughs> Can I be perfectly honest with you? The Israeli Defense Force, from a cyber perspective and from a weapons perspective, is absolutely insane. I have no, like, it's wild, guys. I have no doubt. I have no doubt that Israeli will fuck them up. Mm. And look, guys, this is not again. Like I mentioned, you got to separate. You got to separate. Islam from Hamas. This is not a pro-Israel rant. Um, <clears throat> uh, fuck Hamas rant, even though there's elements of that. In order to do this the be most amount of justice, we're going to focus on this in two separate incidents. The first being this dreadful attack that took place. The second, we will touch on and go through some of the historical context that um, should not have led to this attack, should not have led to this attack, but just so that everyone gets an ear, because, again, in this attack, that's Hamas, okay? But if we're looking outside of this attack, um, Israel hasn't covered themselves in glory. <laughs> no. should, should we give the synopsis quickly, Jay? Do you want me to give a synopsis? Go for it, go for it. 
The ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict saw a significant escalation on October 7, 2023, when Hamas launched a multifaceted and sustained assault on Israel from the Gaza Strip. This event marked an onset of heightened military engagements between the two sides. The assault was initially announced through a 10-minute recorded message by Muhammad Diaf, the leader of the Hamas military wing, declaring that the launch of the Operation al Ak was a deluge to signify an end to what was referred to as the enemy unaccountable rampaging. On the same day, a particularly horrifying incident occurred um, at the Supernova Music Festival near the uh, Secure Kibbutz Riem, where terrorists in vehicles and Hamas markings attacked, resulting in at least 260 fatalities among 3,000 to 5,000 attendees, with additional reports of rapes and kidnappings. Fucking ridiculous. The conflict led to a series of tra tragic events, including but not limited to airstrikes, border crossings, and the military confrontations. Palestinian militant groups led by the Hamas broke through the Gaza Israeli uh, barrier and infiltrated nearby Israeli settlements and military inst in installations. Various military engagements and incidents of violence were reported, including a significant episode where Palestinian terrorists transported and abducted Israeli citizens from uh, Kibbutz Kiev Azar into the Gaza Strip on the 7th of October. The international community has expressed grave concerns over the escalation of violence. Numerous nations and organizations have called for uh, a cessation of hostile uh, hostilities and the uh, resumption of peace talks. The United Nations, European Union, and several countries have urged both sides to exercise rest restraint and protect civilians. Meanwhile, the conflict has also brought attention to border issues such as Israelis blockaded of the Gaza Strip, which intensified with the total blockade announced during the conflict, including a ban on food entering the besieged area. The situation continues to evolve with ongoing military op operations, civilian casualties, and the diplomatic efforts at various levels aiming to de-escalate de the situation. The broader geopolitical implications of this conflict extend beyond the immediate region, elicit elicit elicitating varied responses from the global community. There's the synopsis for you. Now, li listen to that, guys. <clears throat> um, in the early 80s, when they, they ha signed the um, Geneva Convention document or, or whatever it was, there was basically rules of engagement set out when countries are at war or <clears throat> attacking and that type of stuff. And basically, it's you never target women and children. So unfortunately, in war, there's casualties. That's why you've always got to do your best to try and avoid war. Now, punching Israel in the face is not a good way to avoid war. <laughs> that's, that's how you start a fucking war, okay? But... You're not supposed to deliberately target these people. And as Joshua just mentioned, Saturday morning, dudes were at a fucking festival. Mm -hmm. Helpless. At a festival. Unknown. Helpless. Unbeknownst yeah. to them at all. Yeah. Unbeknownst. Like, how, how, how fair is that? Mm. That's how, like somebody just walking into your house with an unexpected thing and just doing anything that they want. Mm. And <clears throat> they went to town on this this festival and the people of this festival. And you got to think that at six in the morning, half six in the morning, besides the fact that everyone's God is the fuck down, everyone's in need. Imagine being it. fucked on shrooms and this shit starts fucking happening. In front bro. Of you, bro, you you just like you look in the sky and you see fucking people hang gliders with yeah. fucking machine guns firing at the crowd even thinking about it makes me like woozy <laughs> bro it's 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 almost surreal mm. and the crazy thing is <sighs> it's so wild Chris th th what usually happens is oh no those videos are fake oh no that's propaganda oh guys it like no propaganda machine is so good that it can create fake videos in one day mm. that look real. 
No propaganda machine can do that. Number two, guess who was filming all of this shit? Your, your beloved Hamas was filming all of this shit. Jay, remember, remember when the mosque, got, yeah. remember yeah. when the mosque in New Zealand was um, attacked, mm -hmm. and dude ran in there with fucking guns, and he had a GoPro on, and he was just there to kill Muslims. Tamas's brother, his white brother. <laughs> That's the worst part about this thing. Again, we'll go into the history shortly. Is that these two religions? were created by two brothers. Mm. Two brothers created these religions. And yet, everyone wants to look back as far as they want to look back. Hence mm. the different sides, etc. But no one is willing to go back to the beginning. Not the beginning of the conflict, the beginning. Don't you think it's such brothers a nice that start and that keeps going on? Yeah, dude. fighting over religion. But it's it's Crips and blood shit, dude. It's literally Crips and blood shit. If you focus on the meat, the the retaliations and and the attacks of recent, you miss the bigger picture. Mm. And the bigger picture is not the land issue. The bigger picture is when you zoom out. How many innocent lives have been lost to this conflict? Mm. And all this conflict is over, and I mean this, of course, respectfully. It's over sand. It's over dirt. It's over land. Your people are losing their lives. They're fighting for a piece of land they will never enjoy. Mm -hmm. They are putting their lives at risk so so they're killing themselves right and what happens after they go and and kill themselves go machine gun and al akbar what happens they're no longer here they don't see what 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 israel does afterwards they never see it you know why because they're dead they've gone to wherever the fuck they think they're going but they're gone but their women and children are still here. The young men are still here. Knowing how powerful and how ruthless Israel can be when, when attacking back. You went and put your, your people's lives. You basically signed their fucking death certificates. Mm -hmm. Because the sad thing is. Like I mentioned, you don't directly hit women and children. But it's kind of hard to do that when terrorist organizations are hiding their bases with women and fucking children mm -hmm. and having bases under homes and having bases and weapons stockpiles and stuff in hospitals and having them stored in mosques. This is all confirmed and true. Just like... The illegal occupation of the West Bank is fucking true. It's true. There's some real, some, some dickhead, dickhead Israelis, dude, that are doing some, doing Palestine dirty. And the Israeli government is not doing enough to, to see to that. But again, you have to, you have to separate the two things. You have to separate terrorist activity and this mm. terrorist attack that just took place that has basically taken the lives of about a thousand two thousand three hundred people so far by the end of this week it's going to be worse it's going to hit two three thousand by the end of this week and on and on the cyclical nature of war continues especially when the usa's war machine smells Money. Oh, Money. Shit. Money. Bro, did you see how quick the US like said fucking everything, dude? Yeah. <laughs> they said waiting for, oh, wait for that is... Israeli money to come back in because they know they'll get paid, eh? Gag payday. Payday for America. No wonder the stocks went up in America. <laughs> payday. Payday, baby. <clears throat> 
But a scary statistic that we all just need to keep in mind um, whilst this devastating retaliatory attack takes place is crazy stat, guys. 50% of the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip are below the age of 25. That shows you what war does. Mm -hmm. war, war leads to people growing up without fathers. Growing up without elders. Just growing, growing up, up with rage. Mm? It's no that, no wisdom. You know, it's ironic that we teach our children don't turn the other, well, turn the other cheek and an eye for an eye leaves us all blind. You know, and these this is wise words. Usually old people towards the end of their life, they get wise <laughs> and they start dropping some knowledge. And that's one of them. And it's quite literally this terrorist attack could have been the eye for the eye that was taken in April which was the eye for the eye taken in December, which was the eye for the... And again, what are we doing? That, 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 that's a good segue into the um, timeline. I've got a brief overview on the Bang timeline, it. Jay, which Bang. I need to ban it. Thank you for watching this clip from the OG session. For the full episode, visit the It's Friday Forever YouTube channel. Whilst you're there, subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you're notified whenever we drop new content. And I'll see you in the next one.